Now to this story for you tonight, new at 5.30. You never understand anything until it actually affects you. So, I would address that to them. Just believe that it was one of their kids. First responders and their families are calling on the federal government to permanently fund the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund. Now that fund provides money for those who got sick after 9-11, but it's running out of money. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live right now with the Mobile Newsroom in West Haven and some new developments on the story tonight. Matt. Well, Mark, a number of first responders from Connecticut went down to ground zero following 9-11. Now they and others who've since become sick, they need help themselves. Now the House overwhelmingly passed this bill on Friday, but Senator Richard Blumenthal, first responders here, they want the Senate to stop delaying and to do the same. Johnny Dye proudly sports an NYPD ball cap, repping the department his son has worked for for 20 years. Tell you go through something like that, you know what it is. It's hard to describe. That would be learning his son had a golf ball sized tumor on his brain. As a parent, you know how devastating that would be to you. And he's still under treatment. Dice's son was a patrol officer in Manhattan when the towers fell on 9 11, spending time at Ground Zero. Now he's one of the thousands depending on the 9 11 Victims Compensation Fund to help with medical bills after getting sick years later. It is the very least this nation can do for these heroes. Since it started, the fund has received tens of thousands of claims, paying out billions of dollars. But if it's not reauthorized, it will need to make cutbacks. Here in Connecticut, 366 people have filed claims with the fund, with just 136 being paid out. Which support these people and which back up, um, we'd say we'd never forget. Well, a lot of times we feel forgotten. Current New Haven Chief John Alston was working for the Jersey City Fire Department back on 9-11. I lost many friends that day. And so for us to have to continue to ask for support for the people that responded uh, on that day just defies reason to me. After an impassioned plea by comedian John Stewart and New York detective Lou Alvarez, who passed away from cancer last month, the House pushed the bill through last week. Now advocates like Johnny Dye are waiting on the Senate to do the same, saying he won't stop fighting for his son until it's done. He's just getting some of his speech back. But if you start cutting the funds, I can't afford to pay for it. Now, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says they have taken up this issue before when they reauthorized it the last time, and he says they will vote on this at some point. All right, Matt, live in West Haven, you know, Matt, there's been so much talk about this lately, but do we have any idea right now when that vote might actually happen finally? Well, that's something that Senator Blumenthal mentioned. He says because many times in the Senate, uh, votes can get delayed and sort of like pushed aside down the road. So he's saying he wants this vote to happen before senators break in August for their summer recess. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in West Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.